This is Bezawit. She lives with her mother, two younger sisters, and four other people in a tiny shack. They wash up using cold water poured from a rusty discarded can. There is no running water, no tubs or showers. There are no flushing toilets anywhere in this community. Breakfast is a dry piece of bread. There's no milk or cereal. None of the breakfast foods we take for granted. Bezowit shares hers with her sister because there's not enough to go around. Bezowit's father was a good man. He drove a taxi. He died in a car accident a few months before her baby sister was born. They were poor then but they are even poorer now. To help make ends meet, they share their already small space with a couple and their two children. There is no garbage collection. Garbage ends up in the stream that flows through the center of the community and becomes the only source of drinking water for other poor families downstream. You can smell the stream before you even see it. Her mother gives her what little money they have to buy today's supplies from a local shopkeeper. She's a client who pays Bezowit's mother a few cents for washing, drying, and folding her laundry. Buying from her is good for business. Bezowit helps out with all the household chores. She cares for the baby even though she is just a baby herself. A school uniform costs $6.50. Monthly school fees are about $3.50. Then there's the cost of workbooks and pencils. Bezowit was so desperate to attend school this year that she squeezed into her outgrown uniform and took her already used workbooks to school. She sat quietly at the back of the class, desperate not to draw attention to herself, until the administrators came around to collect her school fees. When she didn't have them, she had to leave. That's how she became a dropout at only nine years old. The task of collecting water often falls to girls, and clean water is at a premium in Bezowitz's community. There's only one working water tap in the area, and it costs half a day's wages to fill Bezowitz's jug. A small sign that she is still a little girl is the piece of bubble wrap she found in the street. A special toy for a girl who has none. On rare occasions, Bezowit's mother lights a candle. It's barely enough to pierce the darkness. Tonight, she'll make a meal from a few onions and a potato. They'll share it on a single plate, the only one they own. 
The children play a singing game while they wait for dinner to be prepared. As darkness falls, there's nothing to do but wonder what tomorrow will bring. This is what a day is like for a child living in an urban slum. You survive today and hope that you will wake up to survive again tomorrow. Night is falling and the family will sleep together on this single thin mattress. The walls and corrugated door are little protection against the elements or the dangers that lurk outside. Branches cover the holes in the roof. They'll huddle together for warmth under an old blanket Bezowitz's mother found discarded some time ago. Sponsoring a child like Bezowit costs about a dollar a day. This was just one of her days. What does her future hold? Will her tomorrow be any better? You can change the world. Please, pick up the phone right now or visit us online and sponsor a child like Bezowit today.